and welcome back to my blog. Sorry about my appearance. I hope that doesn't put you off. I'm working in the garden and I didn't want to get all cleaned up, record an eight minute video and then go back to gardening. So uh, I've been pressed for time. I haven't been able to get much in in the garden and it's a way to increase my vitality. Hey look, 25th day, ways to increase your vitality. Start to use your resources. Perhaps too often you complain of tiredness, weariness, exhaustion, lack of vitality, and of feeling low physically. This of course could not possibly be the way you should normally feel, although you may have established such a condition as your regular state of affairs. Daily living does have a cycle, a period of activity followed by a period of rest. But to be tired all the time without activity, or to be unduly exhausted with a minimum of effort, would indicate that something needs to be done. You need to discover the source of your vitality and make use of it. Causes of tiredness. Even though you may have what the doctors would say is a normal healthy body, this is no assurance that you feel vital and alive. When you are bogged down physically and don't feel like doing anything, you seldom have to look far to find the cause. When your thinking has no stimulus, when you are bored, when you lack a vital interest, your body reacts in a similar manner. The functioning of the organs becomes sluggish. You seem to have no strength in your muscles, and the whole vital process of your body slows down. The source of vitality. The vitality of either the mind or the body first rests in the nature of life. It is always dynamic, purposeful, and constructive, and as it is the source of what you are, the vitality that you may and should possess is its uninhibited flow through you. Due to the unity of mind and body, the mind may limit the vitality of the body, which in turn appears to affect the vitality of the mind. Learn to be sharp. When you are aware of the fact that lack of bodily vitality stems from an unstimulating pattern of thinking, it is time that you start to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You have to use your thoughts to correct your thoughts. Regardless of how bogged down mentally you may feel, you must of necessity recognize that you are still a part of life that it is all that it ever was, and that it is inspiring and stimulating your thoughts. Life is always expressing itself, always seeking a greater channel for its flow through you. You need to open your mind to its influx, consciously and deliberately, and develop an eagerness for the new things that it can become through you. Physical Stimulus Mentally knowing and accepting that the body is alive and vital paves the way for it to become so. Any degree to which you may be able to acknowledge that life in all its fullness is increasingly active within you. To that degree will your body respond and then you will be able to affirm it to an even greater degree. No thought is an idle thought, but each and every one does have an effect that corresponds to it. You can vitalize your thought to stimulate your body and you can also use thought to further stimulate your thinking. Necessity of action. Action is the essence of life. Action is also the essence of thought. Nothing can happen unless there is, a, is prior cause of some kind. The vitality you possess is an indication of the amount of life you are accepting and permitting yourself to experience. For a healthy, vital body, you must establish active, vital patterns of thinking. Overcoming barriers. In a great many instances, you may have erected barriers, which you refuse to remove so that you, you can become more vital and alive. You have built a wall about you which cuts you off from living. As hesitant and reluctant as you may be to break out of your state of hibernation, you must in some way endeavor to start to tear down the wall. You literally have to force yourself to start to be active and creative in some way, regardless of how small a way it may be at first. The life within you must find expression through you, and once you give it any sort of opportunity, you will find that you will break out of your shell and start to express the person you fundamentally are vitally unlimited. All the strength, vitality, wisdom, enthusiasm, and joy there is or can be already exists. It is only a matter of accepting them as your experience. It is a simple thing to do, but not necessarily easy. Your only source and only resource for any new situation resides in the nature and action of mind, intelligence, God. Your vitality is there in unlimited abundance, so unlimit your thinking free your body of the restrictions you have imposed on it and start to live. Mental Stimulants Science Science today confirms what religion has intuitively known from time immemorial. 
that faith, love, and hope can work miracles of healing and restoration. Joseph H. Krimsky. Philosophy. Thou art thyself a fragment torn from God. Thou hast a portion of him within thyself. Epictetus. Religion. God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. 2 Samuel 22:33. The diet. I know that there is unlimited vitality available to me for my every good undertaking. The strength and power of the one life animates every part of my being. Every part of my body is stimulated to a normal activity, and a new surge of well-being floods through me. There is in my mind no thought that can in any way hinder this action, for I now accept life and no longer deny or refuse its flow through me. My knowing and accepting that this is taking place clears away all obstacles to life's action. I never lack the mental or physical strength to do that which I need to do to accomplish the good I desire. I keep my thoughts healthy and refuse to contaminate them with ideas detrimental to my bodily health. My body is a mirror of my mind and I let my mind be a mirror of the one mind. I turn to life at the center of my being and now affirm that it flows freely through my mind and body, instilling vitality, enthusiasm, creativeness, and right action. God is my life and strength, is what I am, and this is the life I start living today. Capsule Supplement The life and vitality of God is my life. I discard all ideas to the contrary and accept and affirm that in every way, in mind and body, there is a dynamic flow of divine vitality through me which makes my living a joyful experience. Today I will apply this idea to these aspects of my thoughts and actions. Fill in the blank. My particular problem, condition, or situation which it can be used to correct is... Fill in the blank. Tomorrow, the 26th day, you can avoid old age. Make it a great day. And bye for now.